Are jade warriors with halberds any good? Let there be no doubt, they are good, but they also take a tier 2 building to recruit and are more expensive, so cost effectiveness is a thing. They also lack shields. Boo! They now have anti-large and armor piercing. Hurrah! So let's break this down. Please like, subscribe, comment, and consider donating through my coffee page. Coffee is good, coffee is life. Having dropped the whole shields thing, the Jade Warriors with Halberds have the same 120 models and 8,280 HP as their originals, with unchanged armor, leadership, and speed. Melee attack is 22, but that's barely a nerf. Attack interval is 4.6, which is significantly slower, and slower than the Long Spearman by a fair bit, FYI. Melee defense 38 is pretty decent, and weapon strength of 28 is split between 8 regular and 20 tin can opener. Bonus versus large is 16, which is plenty good enough. Charge bonus is 8, but the Long Spearman had like 3, so be grateful! Of course these stats are deceptive due to the whole harmony system and all that, but also note that this unit has charge reflection and charge defense versus large. The peasants had expert charge defense, which applied to infantry too, okay? Bear that in mind. The redline lord skill buffs are unchanged from the last two videos, so that means a general plus 6 melee attack and plus 6 melee defense from the first part with 3 pips and extra leadership, melee attack, and spell resistance for the hardcore rank 7 events. It bears noting that the tech tree has Nangal Polearms, which adds plus 5 melee attack for Jade Warriors with Halberds, which the regular unit cannot benefit from. This means that the Halberd version has more punch, albeit at a lower attack speed, than your previous offerings once all techs come into play. As for how you use the unit, well, that's not hard. And yet, in a way, it actually is. No longer having a shield means that in spite of the armor, you don't want these guys taking missile fire especially because they're more valuable than your Jade Warriors. So these aren't the warriors you want taking the brunt of skirmish fire if possible. Also, they have no special defense against infantry, so ideally you want them in two closely related jobs. Countering any and all cavalry, chariots, and monsters, especially sealing off the flanks early, and then clamping down on any armored infantry where you have no other good options, like, oh, Chaos Warriors or Chaos Dwarf Warriors. Anything else, and you either overpaid for what you ended up needing, or you're not using the unit for an appropriate role. But those aren't things you can necessarily control, so just be reassured that even if it's not the ideal unit for every situation, once the fight gets nasty and personal, they'll fight. That's all you can ask. Take care, and have fun shredding the unwary. Need to show those halberds some respect.